Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today we have another in our series of games for the uh, 2020 pre play season that I'm doing for the Chicago White Sox. Of course, this bears absolutely no resemblance at all to real life, what's going to happen in real life, because as we all know by now, in real life, the season starts in July, and there's only going to be 60 games. This season actually started back in when it should have started in March or April, and it's a 148-game season because at the time I was speculating that they might play 148 games, which was way off. So anyway, we continue on. This uh, game, we are going into a four-game series against the Kansas City Royals, and the first of those games will be game 100, and we're playing the game 148. So we are nearing the end of the tunnel. I did quick play several games, and so we will go up and uh, take a look at the, at the league right now. And as you can see, we are in third place. We are uh, 11 games out, 11 games behind Minnesota. And we are two and a half games behind uh, Cleveland. But we are ahead of Kansas City and Detroit. We have a record of 53 and 46 coming into the, the uh, Kansas City series. As you can see, they're having their problems. They're 42 and 55. So it's uh, not looking good. I mean, frankly, it's not. So we'll see what happens for us making the playoffs. We are playing better, though, than the White Sox have played in past years. So, um, and we certainly expected at least that. So, I will, without further ado, we'll lower the sound a little bit and we will get on with the games. Um, as is usual, and now you can see, this is going to be Dylan Cease against Jake Junis this game. And um, as I've done in the past, I will cut the video down or move ahead or whatever needs to be done to try to get it to a reasonable amount of time. Um, yes, we are human. We will be the humans. They will be the computer. We have cease going up. And so everything seems to be in order as we are at Kansas City. Anderson leading off for us and striking out to Jake Junis. And we got Lewis Robert. Lewis Robert striking out as well. And Jimenez. And Jimenez gets on with a single. That brings up Ben Canarsion with Jimenez aboard, and he strikes out. So, Junis struck out three of the four guys that he faced in the first um, inning for us, and so now we're pitching Merrifield, one of their only dangerous hitters. Garcia will get it. No, he doesn't get it. All right. We are going to we'll let Merrifield do whatever he's going to do, and then we strike out Mondesi. So that was good. That brings up 4J Soler, and Soler is going to single. Merrifield, you got to believe, is probably going to third. But we'll throw for the lead runner. And we don't make it, so. Dozier is up, and he strikes out. So now all Cease has to do is get this last uh, batter here, Perez. And he does. So he escapes without giving up a run when uh, the editing table comes up. And Canarcion is up at the plate. He walks. This is the top of the sixth in a scoreless game. Game one between us and Kansas City. Abreu up and Abreu is going to blind out. I can't believe this. We're getting terrible rolls. All right, so we got Mazzara up at the plate. Dan Mazzara walks. Mazzara's aboard. So we got two on with one out. Grandall up, and he strikes out. There's two down, and Lurie up. And Lurie is going to hit a single that's going to drive in at least a run. 
And now Junis is tired, and that's all it did. It just drove in one run. So Cuthbert is up against uh, Lovelady, and he's going to double. So Cuthbert doubling in at least one run, and I am going to send the lead runner because we need as many runs as we can get. And, of course, he's gunned out at the plate. But we did get two runs, so hopefully that'll be enough for Cease, who hits the first batter, and it happened to be Merrifield. Pitching to Mondesi, and Mondesi, of course, gets a single one to 13. I can never get those, but Kansas City did manage to get it. So Lair is up, and he's going to get the single one, of course. Um, yeah, we'll stop the other runners. Dozier's up, no outs for Kansas City here, and Dozier strikes out. That brings up Perez, and Perez hits the ball to the right. Of course, we have a terrible fielding right fielder out there. And it falls in front of him. And of course, Cease is tired, and the game is now tied at two. And O'Hearn hits a home run. So, just like that, we lost the game, it looks like. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on record as saying that right now. Franco is out. I'm going to at least see if he can get through this, but it's 5-2. to two, So, and then Gordon is out. So, we go to the top of the seventh. We're losing by three. And, uh... Tim Anderson gets a single. Again, we don't get the maximum hit because we're not getting the rules. Lewis Robert is up, and he gets a single. Finally, I get that single one to 13. That elusive thing. We're going to hold the runner. Jimenez is up at the plate, and he walks. So now I got, I, I don't know. I got the bases loaded now after this um, foul ball and then the walk to Jimenez with no outs. And Encarnacion is up, and they're going to relieve him, relieve Lovelady, and bring in, yes, Encarnacion. Does he knock in two? No, he just knocks in one. But he keeps a quarter in the, uh... ah, you knew that. Double play, right? Yeah, double play and a run scores, but now it's 5-4. A runner 90 feet away, and Mazzara up, and he walks. And that brings up Grandall. And let's see if they, yes, they take Barlow out. They bring in Peralta. We hit the ball at O'Hearn. Hopefully it gets by O'Hearn. Yes, it does. And that's another run for us. And now we have tied the game at five with Garcia at the plate. And he's going to fly out. All right, well, we're back in a tie game. Let me see if Cease can start this inning and get out of here. Because it, be, it would be big, because we really don't have a great bullpen. But it's probably the one of the Achilles heels. All right, so there's a single by Merrifield. We're going to take Cease out. And I am going to go get, um, man, I got a real bad cast here. All right, I'm going to go get Bummer. And there's a strikeout for Mondesi. So Lair is up, and he is going to hit it with a double play. So now we got a tie game, top of the eighth. We're at the plate, Cuthbert up, and Cuthbert popping out. Tim Anderson up. Tim Anderson is going to be out. That brings up Lewis Robert. 
and he strikes out. So Dozier is obviously leading off to the eighth for the Royals, and that's going to be a fly ball to Mazzara. Hopefully, it looks like he'll play it. Uh, no, he doesn't. So Dozier does get a board, and Perez is up. And Perez is going to hit a two-run home run, which will probably be the stick that breaks the camel's back. O'Hearn is at the plate, and he is going to hit a ground ball at Anderson. He's out. That brings up Franco. Franco is going to pop out. And that brings up Gordon. And Gordon strikes out. But... That is going to take us to the ninth, and we have to have at least two runs. And we are leading off in good fashion for that, with Jimenez getting a single. And Garcion up now, and he hits a ground ball at short, which is Mondesi. That's going to be a double, I believe. And it is, and then that brings up a break who singles, so we're still alive for the moment. And that brings up Mazzara. And Mazzara ties the game! Do you believe it, fans? Because really, frankly, I don't. And obviously, Kennedy's tired, and now we've got Grandall swinging away and striking out. But now Kansas City has a chance to go ahead. I'm going to keep Bummer out there. He's not tired yet. So obviously we want to do whatever we can. And he probably got this ball over. Uh, yeah, he dropped it. Okay, so nice. But we strike out Merrifield, which is good. So there's one down, Lopez at second, Monty up. But he hits it to right, and that's not good. Nope, we trapped it. So that's it. We lost. <sighs> I tell you. All right, so let's get right on into game two. Game two will be Fulmer, who I have decided to bring up against Sparkman. And we will play it. Hopefully we do better this game. Anderson up. He's going to fly out. Lewis Roberts up. He strikes out. And that brings up Moncada. And Moncada hits a home run. So we do have a run. We're on the board. And Encarnacion is up. And he's going to hit a single. So he's keeping us alive here. In the first. A Abreu up. And Abreu is going to hit a home run. Bel unbelievable. It was a home run one to two, and he got it. Sweet. So now we got a three nothing lead, which we really need. We lost game one to the Royals. This is game two. And this is the first inning of game two. We went down in the first, but now Fulmer is pitching to Merrifield. And Merrifield gets it forward with a single. We are going to uh, hold him. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was with the hole. All right. Mondesi is up and strikes out. So there's one down with Merrifield at first. Solaire is up. 
and Solaire is going to hit a double, which will probably score Merrifield, I'm going to guess. Throw for the lead runner, though, and uh, he still made it. So Dozier is up, and he's out. Moves the runner to the third, and Perez is up, and he will be out. So they get one run of their own in the first. It's three to one. Jimenez is up. Jimenez is walked and injured. Okay, he can continue on, which is good. Mazzara is up. Mazzara walks. So we got two aboard. And Garcia is up at the plate. And he is going to hit a ground ball B. Not as bad as it could have been. It could have been a double play. Tim Anderson up with one out, runners at the corners, and he hits a single and knocks in another run, and it's a 4-1 lead for us. We're going to hold the runner. Lewis Robert up at the plate, and he is going to hit a fly ball. So we got two down, two runners on, a run already in this inning, and Moncada up at the plate, and he pops out. So, we take a 4-1 to one lead to the bottom of the second with Mike Mikhail Franco up for the Royals and striking out. Palmer strikes him out, and Gordon is up. Gordon rips a double. That brings up Dini. I don't even know who Dini is, so <laughs> Houdini. And he would have been if he could have uh, knocked in a, a two-run homer there. Nicky Lopez. Nicky Lopez with a single. Let's see if they try to score Gordon. Might as well throw for him. He got nothing to lose. But he does score. So it's 4-2, to two, and then Merrifield flies out. So that brings us to the top of the third inning. We have a 4-2 lead. And Encarnacion singly. That brings up Abreu. Jose, can you see Abreu singles? Encarnacion probably won't take the extra base. No, not at 50%. Grandal is up. And Grandall hits a ground ball C. That moves both runners over and gets them out of uh, double play range. And then Jimenez up at the plate, and he hits a fly ball B, which is going to score our fifth run of the game. And so far, we've scored in every inning. So this is the anti-game where you could not cut down on the game, on the uh, viewership or the innings to shorten it. A ground ball to Mondesi should be the uh, last out. And it is. And Mondesi comes up to lead off the next inning. But we have a 5-2 to two lead now, and Mondesi strikes out. So there's one down for Kansas City. Solaire is up, and Solaire is out. And that brings up Dozier. And Dozier is going to hit a home run. So far, both teams have scored in every inning of this game. I know there's only been three innings. That's still kind of weird. And now Perez hits a home run, and now it's 5-4. We're going to be leading 5-4. This is a wacky game. Mikhail Franco up. And he singles. So both pitchers are pretty much horrible here. Gordon is up at the plate and he's out. So we got Lurie Garcia up. We've got a 5-4 lead going to the top of the fourth. Both teams have scored in every inning. A ground ball to second. Let's see what happens there. And he's out. Tim Anderson up at the plate. And he is going to be out. And that brings up Lewis Robert. And Lewis Robert flies out. So we're the first team not to score in our part of one of the innings. 
Deeney is leading off for them, and he strikes out. Fulmer gets him. Nicky Lopez is out. And Merrifield is up. And Merrifield singles. He's two for three now. And that brings up Mondesi. And Mondesi hits a ground ball at Garcia. That's not going to be good. Oh, he got him. All right, good. So, both teams scored in the first three innings, and then both teams failed to score in the fourth. And we go to the top of the fifth. Mondesi Mancata up, and he hits a ground ball. And Canarcion is up, and he's two for two. And he is going to fly out. And that brings up Abreu. And Abreu is going to single. He's three for three. And Grandall up at the plate. And they bring in Han to pitch to Grandall, and he strikes out. So we fail to score in the fifth. That brings up Solaire, and Solaire is going to strike out. That brings up Dozier, and Dozier strikes out. And now Perez is out, and Perez is going to fly out. That brings up Jimenez. Jimenez hits a ground ball to second base. And he drops it. That's an error. Nice. Jimenez is aboard with Mazzara up. But he strikes out. Garcia's up with one on and one out. And he's going to be second out on a fly out. And that brings up Timmy A. And Timmy A is going to hit a home run. Nice two-run home run. We open our lead up to three now. And that brings up Lewis Robert. Are they going to take Han out? They do. And they bring in Lovelady again. And Robert is out. So we extended our lead to three runs. Hopefully that'll hold up. We got Mikhail Franco at the plate. He hits the fly ball to the center. That's going to be Lewis Robert. Again, it looks like they got it over his head. Why do I even have a two out there? Oh, no, he got him. Good. Alex Gordon is going to hit a ground ball to short. He'll probably be out. And he is, actually. And that brings up Nick Houdini or Houdini or I don't know. So he's out, and that brings us to the top of the seventh. Chicago with a three-run lead. Moncada at the plate, and he's out. And Canarcion. And he's out, and that brings up a Brave, who's three for three on the day. Three for three, and he's four for four. Abreu having a day for himself. Grandall up. Bang Grandall walking. Jimenez is up at the plate, and he hits a ground ball into a double play. Or really, not didn't need a double play. There was only one out left to get. So that brings Nicky Lopez up for them. In the bottom of the seventh, they're losing by three, and he strikes out. Fulmer going real strong here, although he has given up four runs, which is not great. And that's going to be a single for Merrifield. Brings up Mondesi. Mondesi walks. They've got two on with one out, and Solaire up. And Solaire walks. They've loaded the bases. All right, I'm going to go get um, C Shack right now.
Let's go get him and put him in. Base is loaded, one out, Dozier up. And Dozier is going to be grounding out at first. That does allow a run to score, but I had a three-run lead, so I decided to let it um, stand. Perez is hit by the pitch, and he is going to be injured for seven days, and that brings up Mikhail Franco, who gets out. So they did score a run, but we still have a two-run lead, and we're going to the top of the eighth and a fly ball from Zara. That brings up Garcia. Lurie Garcia is going to double. Love that. And Love Lady's going to exit the game. Or no, he's tired. He might exit the game now, and he does. They bring in Newberry to pitch to Anderson. And he hits a fly ball. So with two down. And a man at second, we got Lewis Robert up. And he hits a home run. Nice. I think that probably means we don't have anything to worry about. And then Moncada comes up with two down. And he is going to fly out. I was going to put in defensive replacements, but now I'm not even going to do that. Well, no, you know what? I am. I'll do that. Um, I'll put Engel in for Mazzara in right. And I will put um, Madrigal in defensively for Garcia. And I will bring in. Benuelos in place of c -Shack and hope he can get out of this inning. Gordon hits a fly ball again. That's going to be another tough play for him, and he does make it, though. So Dini is up. Dini gets hit by a pitch. They have one out, one on here in the bottom of the eighth. And Lopez hits a ground ball. B, so Lopez is aboard now with two down. And Merrifield up. He's three for four himself. But he hits it on the ground and gets out. So Benuelos gets us out of the eighth. We go to the top of the ninth. And could that be out of here? Or even a double I'll take? Yeah, double for Encarnacion. Four for four, Obrey, who steps in, and he is going to be five for five. Five for five, and a double that knocks in another run. And Grandall is up, and he strikes out. That brings up Jimenez, and he strikes out. So there's two down. And Adam Engel for his first at bat of the game, and he's out. But now I think Benuelos, we've got a what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to five lead. So a five run lead. Benuelos really can't give that up. Mondesi strikes out. Soler is up. Catcher, and that's Grandall. And he's out, and then Dozier, Dozier. Dozier is going to get on by a single. Try to keep it alive for Kansas City. And McBroom, Ryan McBroom is up, and he hits a ground ball to Madrigal, who is a two hit second. And that should be an out. No, he boots it. He made an error. Frank goes up. You know, why do I put in defensive replacements? Why do I bother? So Franco is out, and Benuelos did get us out of the uh, inning and uh, nailed home the win for us. Fulmer went six and a third, gave up five, work, five earned runs on nine hits and two walks. 
but Ciszek was perfect and uh, Benuelos was very good. So that puts us at 54 and 47 on the year. And we're going to game three. But before we go to game three, let's take a look at the stats for the White Sox. We're 54 and 47 overall. Home record is 30 and 19. Road record is 24 and 28. So let's go look at some of the primary stats. Here's the batters. I'll let you look at those. Uh, Tim Anderson hitting 286 with 16 homers. Um, let's see. Abreu. Abreu just had that five for five game. That brought him up to 260. So he's hitting 260 with 18 home runs. Our home run leader is Moncada with 25. So we're hitting 265 on the year. Not too bad as for a team. Got a 419 team earned run average. Pretty much what you would expect from our pitching, I think. It's right up the alley. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, our innings leader is Giolito, and he has a 393 earned run average and a 988 record. So, we will take those stats and we're going to ride them into hopefully you had enough time to look. If you haven't, you can always just go back and pause the video. But we're going to move on to game three of the series. We split the first two. And uh, let me, let me, I want to look at this lineup now. Um, we're going to put in mechanic catcher for this game. Uh, we're going to put in Madrigal will play second. Where's the second baseman? Oh no, Mendick is already there. All right, I can do I can do Mendick. That's fine. Um, Delmonico would be interesting to play my Delmonico, but yeah, you know I'm going to do that. I'm going to play Delmonico and give uh, Jimenez a day off. Move him down to the bottom of the lineup. We got Keuchel pitching, so hopefully he can pitch well enough to overcome the lineup. Although the lineup really is not that bad, just because Delmonico's in it. Lewis Robert leading off for us. It's a ground ball to Lopez at second. And he's out. Mendick is up. Mendick hits a single. That brings up Moncada, and Moncada strikes out. So we're out of the first inning, no run. Or no, we're not. No, how did he get on? All right. I don't know how, but I'll take it. And then there's a walk to Encarnacion. So now we got two on all of a sudden. No outs, and then there's going to be a pass ball. That's going to move the runners to second and third. And Abreu is at the plate, and he walks. So now the bases are loaded. And that brings up Mr. McCann. And he is going to be out. So, we get no runs even though we did threaten. And Merrifield leads off for them and walks. Keuchel is a negative six watch, though, so I don't think he's going anywhere. Mondesi's up and strikes out. That brings up Solaire. And Solaire is going to be out. Just barely. And that brings up Dozier. And of course, Dozier hits a two run. Home. So Kansas City takes a quick 2 nothing lead in the first. And Franco is up. And he walks. 
And that brings up Deanie. And Deanie is going to foul out to the catcher. So Mazzara leads off for us in the second. We're down 2 nothing now. And he strikes out. Brings up Lurie, Lurie Garcia, and he is going to single. So we got a man on. With one out, and Delmonico up. And Delmonico! <laughs> it's a home run! That's sweet, he ties the game. Hey, you know, there's my genius at work. That brings up Lewis Robert. And he's lining out. Grounding out. And Mendick up with two down. And he's out. So the Delmonico decision proves quite fateful as we tie the game up. But, okay, no, that's going to be now. Fly ball for Gordon. So the score is tied here, bottom of the second, Kansas City batting in a 2-2 game. Nicky Lopez is out. And that brings up Ryan McBroom. And he strikes out. So if we can get this offense kick-started here, Moncada up at the plate. He's out. And Canarcion swinging away with him. He's going to fly out. Two down. Here in the top of the third. And that brings up Abreu. And Abreu walks. And McCann up the plate. And McCann is out. So we get no runs there. It's still tied at two. Merrifield leading off for them and hitting a home run. Mondesi is up. So now they have a three to two lead and Mondesi walks. Keuchel not really pitching very well here. I'm not very enthusiastic about this start here by uh, Keiko. Ground ball to Mendick. And a bad throw, and so Dozier's up with two on, and he walks. There's still nobody out. Keiko is just crap in the bed. And now uh, we got Franco at least hitting into a double play, which is nice, but they're still going to score a second run now. And Dini is up. Ground ball to the pitcher. Keuchel makes the play, but they have a four to two lead. And Mazzara up at the play, then out. And brings up Garcia. And he's going to single. Nice job. So he's aboard with Delmonico, and Delmonico, what happened there? That was a pass ball. So Delmonico now strikes out. Two down here in the fourth. Lewis Robert up and striking out. And now Alex Gordon is up for them. We're hoping that Keuchel can kind of shut it down from right here because... It's four to two. We don't have too many uh, magic wands in our um, in our uh, quiver. And Lopez gets a board, so McBroom is up, and McBroom is going to get a board, and he's going to have a single. I'm going to try to get the runner at third, and we do. We got the runner at third, nailed it. So there's two down, and Merrifield up. And he hits a ground ball to Mendy. And he makes the play. So, that was good. We cut down the run. So, it's still 4-2. Mendick is up. But we got to get going. This offense has got to start really, you know, clicking. Mancata up at the plate. And Mancata hits a home run. And we're within a run now. 
four three. Encarnaciona, we're only down by a run. He could hit it, and uh, no, he doesn't. So, two away, Abreu up, and Abreu striking out. He had two walks coming in. Uh, Mondesi is up in the bottom of the fifth, leading off for Kansas City, who has a 4-3 to three lead on us. Soler is up now with one out. Looks like maybe Keuchel has settled down. And that brings up Dozier and Dozier walks. And that brings up Franco and Franco singles. So now all of a sudden Keiko's self-destructing again. Let's try to throw him out again. Why not? Doesn't work. Dini is up. And Dini hits a double. And Gordon hits a single, which probably will knock in Dini. No, it doesn't. Lopez up. Lopez cranking a, a nice uh, double. So Keiko is going to pitch for a little while now because he's just going to, I'm going to run him into the ground because I can't waste our relief pitching. So, we are going to the top of the sixth. So, McCann leading off. He's going to hit it at Lopez, who is a two. Will probably make the play. He does. That brings up Mazzara. And Mazzara is going to hit a single. So, we got a man on with one out. Garcia up, hit by pitch and injured. He was two for two. Stays in the game, though, and Delmonico is up. He's going to hit a five ball for the second now. And that brings up Lewis Robert, and he strikes out. So we're going to the bottom of the sixth. Merrifield. Batting against Keuchel and striking out. Mondesi. Mondesi is going to hit a single. That brings up Soler. Soler strikes out. And that brings up Dozier. And Dozier is going to be out. So we got Mendick up, it's four, eight to two, eight to three. So we're down by five. I don't really see us coming back from that. Mendick will be out. Brings up Moncada. Moncada gets aboard, he's two for four on the day now. And Canarsino, 0 for 2 with a walk and strikes out. And that brings up Abreu. And Abreu not having a game like he did in game 2 where he was 5 for 5. And he's out. And Franco will uh, lead off the bottom of the 7th for Kansas City against Keiko here. And he's out. Keuchel now deciding to get the outs. Dini is up. And Dini is going to fly out. Would have been interesting to see if he would have hit that home run. I don't know if he has the power to hit the home run, but who knows. And uh, that'll be Gordon flying out. So Keuchel got us out of that. And now McCann is leading off the eighth for us. Still down by five, and he flies out. Another thing has been injuries. Injuries have really kind of hindered us. 
That's going to be a double for Mazzara. So he's two for four on the day, but, you know. Don't have enough left in the tank, I don't think, to win this game. Lurie Garcia's out. He's two for three. That brings up Del Monaco, who hit the home run in the first, and he strikes out. Or not the first. I don't think it was the first. It was the second. Second inning. And Nicky Lopez is up for them in the bottom of the eighth, and he walks. So Kansas City has a man aboard with no outs, and McBroom up, and he walks too. That brings up Merrifield. And he hits a single. Yeah, I know Keuchel's tired, but he's going the distance. Walk to Mondesi, no outs still. Bases are loaded. Solaire up, and he singles. Let's see if we can throw the runner out, because that's going to be our only chance. And it doesn't work. Uh, pass ball. Another run scores. Dozier up. He singles. Knocks in another run. There's no outs. See, in real life, Keiko would be, you know, he'd want to meet me out in the parking lot for managing like this. But, you know. It's not. So there's a strikeout. There's the first out. Dean, he strikes out. Gordon is up, and he singles. Another runner came in, and Lopez is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball. B. Another run came in. There's a hit by pitch for McBroom, so there's two on with two out. And Merrifield is up, and he's going to be out. And finally, mercilessly, we get out of the inning. Robert is up at the top of the ninth. It's a pop-up to Dini, the catcher. Mendick is up. Mendick with a single. That brings up Moncada, and he flies out. So he's going to be two for five for the game. And that brings up Encarnacion. And he is going to be out. And mercifully, this game ends. With the final score being 15 to three. So we were in it all the way. Keuchel having a terrible game. Puts his ERA up to 4.29 and his win-loss record at 9 and 4. And we're going to the last game, the fourth game of the series. And Danny Duffy's pitching for them. And we got Giolito going up. So I'm feeling pretty good about a win here. Uh, I'm going to put in Madrigal at second for Garcia. And uh, let's put in um, Hernandez for Mazzara and Wright. So, yeah. And it's a day game. Nice. I love those day games. Anderson leading off. And leading off with a single against Danny Duffy, who is a negative four watch, so we're not going to be stealing on him. Engel, you know what? I, with Engel, I'm going to uh, sacrifice. And he does do it, and Mankata is up with a man at second, and he's out. So there's two down for us. And Canarcion up. And he is going to be out. 
So we come away with nothing in the first. Giolito pitching to Merrifield leading off, and he's going to fly out. Mondesi up. Mondesi strikes out. And that brings up Solaire. And Solaire jacks it. So they have a one nothing lead. That brings up Dozier. Dozier ripping a double. No single. That brings up Mikhail Franco, and he's going to be out. So they got a run on a home run, and that brings up uh, Abreu for us. Abreu ripping a double. Love it. I'm all for it. Grandall up. Grandall strikes out. That brings up Jimenez. And Jimenez is out. And so we have Cortez Hernandez up. And he's going to be out. So, bottom of the second, one nothing lead for Kansas City, and they lead off with a single by Alex Gordon. Dini up, striking out. Brings up Nicky Lopez. Nicky Lopez strikes out. Or grounds out. I don't know why that was a ground out. It showed as a strikeout. And then Gutierrez is going to rip a double. I don't even know who that is, but. Merrifield up, and now they have a 2 nothing lead, and he strikes out. Madrigal leads off for us in the top of the third. We're down by two in game four. We were one and two in the first three, so we need a game or a win here to tie this series up at two and get out of here with a split. Anderson singles when that brings up Angle, and he walks. So Mancata up one out, runners at uh, no, unbelievable out. That's a line out. So there's two down. And Canarcion up. And N. Canarcion looks like he's going to hit a three run homer, and I'm hoping he does. And he does. So we got a 3 2 lead now all of a sudden, and Abreu is up, and they, all, they already take out Duffy. Come on. That's going to be a single for Bray, who's two for two. And you remember a couple games ago, he was five for five. Grandall up, and Grandall strikes out. But we took a lead, so now we've got a three to two lead. Pitching to Mondesi, Giolito strikes him out. Solaire up, and Solaire hit that home run, and now Solaire is going to fly out. But almost got a triple which would be unbelievable for Solaire. And Dozier's up. And Dozier strikes out. So leading 3-2, we go to the top of the fourth. Jimenez up. And he singles. You would think this Kansas City bullpen would be getting dogged because, I mean, really. Hernandez is up, and he walks. Nice. Gorky's with the walk, and that brings up Madrigal, who hits into a double play. Thank you, Madrigal. And now Timmy A is up, and he strikes out. Had a chance to get a key run across, and he blew it. Bottom of the fourth, Franco up, and he's going to be out. 
I mean, it looks like Kansas City has the same problem we have. They're dealing with injuries. It's the end of the year. They've got some of their second stringers playing a lot. So, and D up with two down, and he's out. And that will take us to the top of the fifth. We're leading three to two. And a mangle up, and he's out, flying out. Mancata up, strikes out. And Encarnacion is going to swing away. And he's going to hit a home run. Give it to me. Bring it home. Yeah, nice. Okay. Now we got a two run lead, and the two for two of Bray who steps in. They take Love Lady out, they bring in Peralta. They're going through their bullpen like, you know, I go through underwear. And he boots the ball. So Abreu gets aboard on an air and grand ball is up. And that's a strikeout. So that's it. Nicky Lopez up in the bottom of the fifth. Strikes out. If Giolito can bring this home, that would be great. We really need to split with a team that's worse than us in real life and worse than us in this replay. Merrifield up, and Merrifield hits the ball to center that angle. So if there's any way on God's green earth that he can play it, he will. And that's it. So Jimenez is up to lead off the sixth inning for us. We are ahead 4-2. to two. It's going to be a ground ball at second. That's Lopez. Hopefully he doesn't play it for some reason, but he does. Gorky's is up, and Gorky's is out. And that brings up Madrigal, and Madrigal strikes out. So we're going to the bottom of the sixth. Still got that good two-run lead, and Mondesi strikes out. Soler is up, and Soler is going to hit a double. That brings up Hunter Dozier, and Dozier strikes out. Two down, they got a runner at second. Franco up and he pops out. So that'll take us to the top of the seventh. And Tim Anderson up. And striking out. So he's going to be two for four right now. Had a mingle over one. And he walks. Brings up Moncada. Mancata hits a ground ball B, so he'll be at first base with two down. And then Canarcion up, and what happened there? A pass ball, and then Carcione now up and striking out. We go to the bottom of the seventh. We're almost there. We're in the home stretch. Gordon is up and hitting a home run. So now we've only got a one run lead. It's four to three, us. Dini up. Dini strikes out. Nicky Lopez is up. And they bring up Bubba Starling to pinch hit. He strikes out. And that brings up Gutierrez, whoever that is. He hits it at Moncada on an X chart. And he's out. So we go to the top of the eighth. We really need a couple of insurance runs, I would say here. Abreu up and he hits the ground. He hits the ground ball at Franco, but he's a four. He might misplay it, and he does. He doesn't get to it really. Grandall is up, and they go to the bullpen again. And now they're bringing in McCarthy, Kevin McCarthy. 
not the Republican um, House guy, but um, the pitcher for the Kansas City Royals. So we go to, or we're still in the top of the eighth. Jimenez up, two down, and he's out. So we're in the bottom of the eighth. Hopefully Gilito at least gets us through this inning. Merrifield up, strikes out, good beginning. Mondesi up, strikes out, love it. And Solaire is up. And Solaire is going to hit a double. Didn't really need that. Dozier is up. I'm going to say walk him. And now we will definitely pitch to Franco. I would definitely rather do that. But he hits it at Abreu, so let's see what happens. He made an error, so bases are loaded. And of course, Gordon makes us pay for my bad strategies. Two, three, yeah, now they're ahead, five, four. And that's a hit by pitch for Dini. And Starling is up. And Starling is gonna hit a ground ball. But now we need a run right here just to tie the game. Gorky's is up. And he's gonna hit a double, no, a single. Madrigal up. And he hits a single. Nice. Maybe we can get that run. Who knows? Going to hold the runner. Tim Anderson up. I really need him to get a hit. But no. But he does move the runners over to second and third. Angle up. I'm going to let him hit. I really shouldn't. But he does. And he does get a single. And even maybe Madrigal scores? No. But we got the tie game. So... I'm going to go Mad or Mancata up, and he hits a ground ball. A, hey, do you believe it? All right, I'm going to the pen. We're going to bring in C Shack. But at least the game is tied, and they're going to bring in Villarreal, and he walks. C Shack has real control problems. I don't know where they come from, but ground ball double play though from Airfield. Love it. And Mondesi up. And Mondesi out. So we're going to the top of the tenth. We're going some free baseball here. Not that you want to see that, but, but hey. And Canarcion, two for four on the day. Swinging away and out. Abreu is up. He's three for four on the day. And he is ripping another double. It's the second double of the day, and he's four for five. He's four for five here, and in game two, he was five for five. Grandall is up. Grandall strikes out. Thank you. And that brings up Jimenez. And they walk Jimenez, and they're going to pitch to Gorky's, and he strikes out. So Shishek pitching to Solaire. Solaire is going to hit the single just barely. Brings up Dozier. That's going to be a pass ball that lets uh, Solaire go to second. But he does strike Dozier out. Franco up. And Franco lines out. Nice. Right between two hits. And that brings up Gordon. And Gordon will pop out. So, we are going to the 11th inning. And that brings up Madrigal on the top of the 11th. And he's singling. 
two for five on the day. Brings up Tim Anderson. Anderson. Need a big hit here, Timmy. No. He says, no, sorry, not going to do it. Adam Engel is up. And Adam Engel is hitting the round ball at short, which should be a double play. It isn't, though. So that does give life to Moncada, who walks. And now we got two runners on, two outs, and Encarnacion up. And Encarnacion hits a three-run home run. Yes. We needed that. And Abreu's up four for five on the day right now, as it stands. And he's going to be four for six. So that was really nice. I'm going to take uh, C-Shack out. And I'm going to put in Evan Marsh. Yeah. And he'll pitch to Deeney, and Deeney is going to hit a single. They need three runs, though, to tie the game. Starling is up, and Starling's going to pop out to first. That brings up Ortega, and no, the pinch hit Gallagher, and Gallagher strikes out. Cam Gallagher striking out. That brings up Man Merrifield. And Merrifield, of course, has to hit a triple and not get a run. But, I mean, you know, they're still down by two, and Merrifield's still 90 feet away, but now there's two outs. And Mondesi is going to hit a single and knock him in, and now they're only down by a run. Are you kidding? All right, I'm going to let him pitch to Solaire still. Let's try to throw, and we get him. Why did he try to do that? All right, well, thank you. So we win, we hang on and win that game 8-7. He brought in basically every pitcher on the Royal staff. G. Lito went eight, gave up three earned runs. C. Sheck went two, gave up no earned runs. Marshall went one and gave up two earned runs and still managed to get his fifth save for that. So we split with the Royals 2-2. Two -two. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment. Uh, there's uh, got to be a lot of stuff you could have commented on throughout this four-game series. But for right now, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.